Three former St. Louis Board of Aldermen will be sentenced today. All three pled guilty to federal theft and bribery charges. Our Sydney Stallworth is live outside the Eagleton Courthouse with the jail time that they face. Good morning, Sydney. Good morning to you, Michelle and Rennie. Lewis Reed, Jeffrey Boyd, John Collins, Muhammad all pled guilty to federal theft and bribery charges. But today in court, they're asking the judge for no jail time. They could be facing years, but they're asking that judge to give them a different sentence. This comes after photos were released of all three aldermen accepting thousands of dollars from an undercover FBI agent. We have some of those photos. Go ahead and take a look. These pictures were released released by federal prosecutors showing the former St. Louis alderman accepting cash and gifts from the undercover informant in exchange for various favors, including proposed tax breaks and development project approvals in North City. The former aldermen are all seeking probation instead of jail time today and have been ordered to pay restitution on the bribes and gifts they received. A SLU law professor tells us what this case means for St. Louis politics. It looks like the U.S. Attorney's Office is really cleaning up politics in St. Louis City and St. Louis County. The feds are looking at what they're doing and uh, they need to stay uh, on the right side of the law. Now, the sentencing hearings will be in this courtroom behind me starting at 1.30 with Collins Muhammad. Guys? Hey, Sydney, uh, you, of course, you know, federal charges, they have hefty sentences. So do we have any idea of what sort of jail time the prosecutors are pushing for today? Right, Michelle, respectively, uh, these aldermen are facing federal charges for things like bribery, racketeering, wire fraud, and they each could be facing uh, at least a decade in prison. But we do have some information that came from the U.S. Uh, Attorney's Office that suggests a range for each of them. 37 to 46 months is being suggested for Muhammad and Reed, and then 30 to 37 months is being suggested for Boyd. So we'll see what the sentencing hearings hold later today. Reporting live downtown, Sydney Stallworth, five on your side. All right, thank you, Sydney.